Gil Gross here for Action Network and a day four Thursday Wimbledon preview. 13 American men made round two at Wimbledon this year, the most since 1995. Jack Sock and Maxime Cressy included in that group, and they will play each other in round two. That's the match I'm looking at. You have Maxime Cressy coming off of an upset victory over Felix Ojealiasim in four sets. FAA being a top five favorite to win the whole thing. And it's not really out of nowhere for Cressy. He made the Eastbourne final in the week prior to Wimbledon, losing to Taylor Fritz there. But Jack Sock has quietly also put together a fantastic grass court season. He's 11-2, making the semifinal at the Nottingham Challenger and making the final at Ilkley. He had to come through qualifying at Wimbledon. If he won that Oakley final, he probably would have gotten a wild card, but he was able to win the three matches, navigate through, and he took out Bernabe Zapatas Mirais in round one in straight sets. So, Cressy's results have certainly been the more dazzling, the more impressive, and as a result, he's the favorite here. But I'm liking Sock at plus 160. Uh, obviously, Cressy is a stylistic novelty, being a serve and volley player. I really think Sock is going to enjoy that, and I think it is a good matchup because of the way Sock returns. Uh, Jack has incredibly quick hands, and because he's got really quick hands, even against the biggest servers, he can stand up on the baseline. He doesn't need to move back to give himself more time to, to read the return. And he's got amazing hands, so he's able to deaden the ball and keep those returns low, usually staying in continental grip, which I think he will against Cressy, which is your slicing grip. He's going to be looking to hit these low block returns, and I think he's going to get the ball low with great success against Maxime Cressy. Cressy does show an excellent ability to hit low volleys. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to serve and volley at this level. So his first volley is excellent, but even once he's gotten to net and and it's in a position where, you know, Cressy is net rushing and Sock is having to make passing shots, I think Sock is a nightmare to volley against um, when it comes to the way his topspin forehand comes off. I also think his backhand is better with a target. So the backhand is sometimes a weakness, but uh, I do think he has the ability to pass on that side. But it's mostly Jack Sock's forehand. It dips like almost a bowling ball. Uh, no one hits as much topspin as Jack Sock outside of maybe Casper Ruud and Rafa Nadal. It can be very difficult to volley. And just in general, Jack Sock is a tremendous difficult shot maker. And that's what Cressy asks you to do when he comes to net uh, in big moments. And you just need to find... Uh, a couple of spectacular returns and, and passing shots on return games if you want to break serve. It's no easy task, obviously. Uh, Sock does stand in tight, which will give Cressy a chance to likely hit a lot of aces on his first serve, but the key will really be how well does Cressy protect his second serve, where he has to hit to safer targets. He does hit very fast and big. Uh, the double faults are a key. Can he keep that number low like he did against FAA, where he only double faulted eight times? That's a question mark. The second reason, besides the fact that I like it stylistically for Sock, is the margins are going to be razor thin here. And one of the angles that I think really is an effective one when it comes to betting on grass is... Uh, underdogs in matches where we're going to see a lot of tie breaks. Because the margins are shrunk so thin, obviously you have the, the gap between the levels and the players just kind of shrinking, and it becomes more of a toss-up in that 7-point tie break, 10 points if it's the 5th, uh, in that format. Sock is holding serve 84% of the time over the course of the last year. Cressy is holding serve 87% of the time over the course of the last year. We are going to see some tie breaks. That match against Felix Ojeali seen that came down to three, four points. In that case, Cressy was the underdog, and it would have made a lot of sense to get behind him. In this case, with Sock as the underdog, I'm a big fan of taking the plus money on matches bound for tie breaks, those slim margins coming down to a couple of points, and it's going to be a matter 
of who wins those. Look, is it fun to fade Maxime Cressy right now with as well as he's been playing? Absolutely not. But I think the stylistic matchup and the plus money you're getting on Sock, plus you're kind of selling high on Cressy, uh, I think all of those things make it worthwhile. <laughs>